I'm Guy Rutten. I'm working as a primary care physician in the Netherlands. And besides, uh, I'm a professor of diabetology at Utrecht University. Um, my, the, my research focuses on uh, diabetes in the primary care setting, uh, especially on uh, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. But in f bottom line, all these experts that are relevant for diabetes in primary care, that means prevention, um, screening and early intensified treatment um, and also uh, for example uh, the, the posters uh, we present here at ADA about vitamin B12 deficiency in uh, patients uh, treated with metformin. Uh, to uh, elaborate on the latter one uh, we could demonstrate in an observational study that uh, among, about, uh, among uh, about 500 patients that uh, a vitamin B12 deficiency uh, could be demonstrated in about a quarter of the patients by total vitamin B deficiency and that deficiency was related to, uh, significantly related to depressive symptoms. Um, one might argue that maybe in 5 or 10 percent of these patients uh, treated with metformin may have signs and symptoms of a vitamin B12 deficiency. Uh, and although this doesn't look so, so, so big, the, uh, because many patients are using metformin, for example, in the Netherlands 700,000, so, but worldwide millions and millions, so the long-standing debate on how to screen for uh, deficiency uh, and whether it, uh, what is the best mark and how it relates to symptoms and whether it could be resolved by uh, by uh, supplementary uh, prescription of, of vitamin B12, I think we should we should uh, solve that problem, and I'm glad to present you these uh, these uh, posters. So that's just one example, but uh, for we another example is what we did in combination with Cambridge and the University of Aarhus and University of Leicester, the addition study, in which we screened 300,000 people according to WHO guidelines and. We randomly assign them uh, the practices, we re uh, ran uh, cluster randomized trial to either treatment according to the guidelines from Denmark, the Netherlands, UK, or to intensify treatment. And we followed them up for five years. We published the paper in The Lancet in, in 2011. And we could demonstrate that I think the most important, the most striking uh, results were that. After these five years, people had decreased their A1C. They had decreased their body mass index. So, we, what the, always we have a perspective that if you have diabetes, you're you're getting bad, uh, you're getting worse over the years. But if you treat patients very intensively from the first beginning, uh, we can keep them very well controlled over a larger period.